most ridiculous and expensive things celebrities have bought. Celebrities do the darndest things and we can't help but talk about it. When you have all the money, you can afford to indulge your hidden pleasures no matter how ridiculous they may seem. What's more is if you happen to be a celebrity, anything can happen. From dinosaur skulls to gold-plated private jets. In today's video, we will take a look at the top 10 times celebrities have bought ridiculous and expensive things. Stick with me till the end of the video as we explore together. You are in for a ride. On number 10 on our list is the Ghostbuster. If you're thinking that this has something to do with the movie, then you are absolutely wrong. Sensational singer Lady Gaga purchased a ghost detector. Is she being chased by a ghost, you wonder? Absolutely not! The singer has a couple of bodyguards that protect her from unwanted attention from paparazzi and crazy fans. But unfortunately, these bodyguards won't be able to protect her from spirits. Hence, the ghost detector. She believes she sees ghosts, and this belief has led her to hire ghostbusters and paranormal experts. The experts advised her to get herself an electromagnetic field reader that could help her detect whenever the ghosts are present. The ghost detector costs $50,000, and it happens to be the best of the best. Number 9. A plane ticket for a hat Forgetting your hat while going on a vacation is one thing that seems very normal and can easily be replaced. But forgetting your favorite hat is a no-no for popular Irish and U2 rock band singer Bono. Because of this, that hat must be brought at all costs. And that was exactly what happened. The U2 lead vocalist Bono spent $1,700 to have his Tribly hat flown to Italy. Yes, you heard it right. You may think $1,700 is not so much, but spending that much to transport a hat can easily be termed as out of the world. Imagine having a hat fly on a first class, having a special seat to itself, and being secured by the best of security, not forgetting travel insurance. Ridiculous, right? That's one of the few things you can do when you have all the money in the world and that's exactly what Bono did. Number 8. Beyonce in a bunch of crazy purchases It is safe to say that money has never been an issue for Queen B, but is she guilty of making ridiculous purchases? Absolutely yes! Some years ago, she got her husband, Jay-Z, a private jet worth $50 million. But let's not be too quick to judge. It's not so ridiculous since it will only help the couple to get to their destinations faster. However, Beyonce has made some interesting purchases. She once got herself an eye-catching Balenciaga legging valued at $100,000. These are not ordinary leggings, by the way. They are gold embellished. She used these leggings to perform at the 2017 Bet Awards and she has never been seen hearing them again. Another purchase made by Queen Bee and her husband is a gold-flecked gown worth $11,000. This gown was worn by their daughter Blue Ivy to the 2016 MTV Video Music Awards. At that time, Blue Ivy was only 4 years old. It's no big deal though. Their daughter had been a recipient of ridiculous purchases even before her birth, so it's understandable. She had been given a crystal-studded bathtub that cost $5,200 in the past. For her first birthday, she was given a custom-made Barbie doll that was encrusted with diamonds worth $80,000. Some other birthday expenses included $95,000 worth of pink and white roses in a cake worth $2,400. That is indeed ridiculous! Number 7. Jay-Z's Champagne Battles We're still talking about the power couple but let's move to Jay-Z. When it comes to spending, Jay-Z certainly is the perfect match for Beyonce. Jay-Z may be a better ridiculous spender than his wife. You can call him the master of extreme moves. One of the extreme moves he made was when he decided to end his contract with the Crystal Champagne brand. He replaced Crystal Champagne brands with Armand Brignac which is also known as the Ace of Spades. While at a party in Club Live in Miami, Jay-Z bought 75 bottles of the Ace of Spades for $250,000 with a $50,000 tip for the lucky bartenders. That is some luck. He loved the champagne brand so much that he later bought it. Now that is what you call a ridiculous purchase. Coming at number 6 on our list is Paris Hilton and her dog house. Everybody loves dogs, but Paris Hilton's love for her dog may be a little too much. In 2009, Paris Hilton paid a whooping $325,000 for a custom-made designer dog house that looked just like her own house. 
The doghouse had everything that was in her own house, only in smaller sizes, from mini designer furniture to air conditioning, heating, and even a chandelier. She always carries her dog whenever she goes, but that shouldn't stop her dog from having its own home, right? Anyway, we are sure that Paris Hilton's dog is doing better than most people on the planet. Number 5. Celine Dion's Humidifier It is no news that Celine Dion is one of the amazing singers our world has been blessed with. Her voice is unique and she takes extreme and somewhat ridiculous measures in order to protect her voice. While training her voice, she needs to have a humidifier. It's supposed to protect her voice against the harsh environment. That's understandable. It's okay to have a humidifier. In fact, a good one goes for about $200. Sadly, according to her, that's not up to par. She spent a whooping two million dollars in a humidifier. That's not the only ridiculous expense she's had. For one, she pays her team a total of four million dollars per year. Her team includes a yoga teacher, an Olympic trainer, and four bodyguards. Number four, Mike Tyson's Bengal Tigers and Solid Gold Bathtub. According to Mike Tyson, when it came to his spending habits, there were some dumb things that he did. Back in 2004, Mike Tyson offered his former wife Robin Givens a solid gold bathtub that was worth $2 million. This was the same year he was close to being bankrupt. The bathtub was a 24 karat gold luxury that was very unnecessary. Apart from that, he spent $150,000 on buying two white Bengal tigers. Guess who really needed some feisty companion? The expenses on the tigers don't stop at purchase alone. It costs close to $4,000 to take care of each of the tigers. That is indeed a ridiculous and unnecessary purchase. Number 3. Nicolas Cage's 1 million comic book collection. If we say that Nicolas Cage is one person that loves to throw money on ridiculously outrageous things, we would be hitting the nail right on the head. He owns two yachts, 12 mansions, 50 exotic cars, a Bavarian castle with 28 bedrooms, a Gulfstream jet, and two islands in the Bahamas. That's not all. Nicolas Cage has a collection of shrunken heads. What does he need it for? We have no idea. He may have taken the saying, two heads are better than one, a little too seriously. He once bought a Lamborghini which was owned by the Iranian Shah. The red Lamborghini Miura SVJ was bought for $450,000 through a bidding on the telephone. He owns 47 pieces of art and exotic items. We believe that one of the exotic items includes the dinosaur skull he bought back in 2007. Both Nicolas Cage and Leonardo DiCaprio had their eye on the Tyrannosaurus Batar skull, which was 67 million years old. He got it at $270,000 at the auction. Later in 2015, Nicolas Cage decided to return the skull to Mongolia after it was determined to have been stolen according to an attorney. He also purchased the LaLaurie house. This is another ridiculous and fascinating purchase made by him. The house is said to be one of New Orleans' most haunted locations. This house inspired a season of American Horror Story. In Cage's words, other people have beachfront properties, but he has a ghost front property. He later lost the home in 2009 to foreclosure when it was appraised for $3.5 million. Of all his purchases so far, the most ridiculous has to be his $1 million comic book collection. That's right, he got a comic book collection for $1 million. You may be wondering the sort of comic book that could cost that much. We'd tell you, the collection included the first number of action comics. This was the place where Superman made his first ever appearance. Unfortunately, the collection was stolen but he managed to recover it and got a good profit out of it. He sold it for $2.1 million. Number 2. Kim Basinger in her own town. Kim Basinger had a dream. She wanted to transform Bradenton, Georgia into a tourist attraction of her own. It would have movie studios and big film festivals. And because dreams come true, she paid a whooping $20 million to buy the town as a whole. She claimed to have developed interest in the town while she was stuck in a traffic jam. She paid that much after a year and a half of negotiations and bought the 1,600 expanse that covered the town. Oh, did we mention that she paid in cash? Well, she did. Unfortunately, the purchase was a total failure. She declared bankruptcy five years later and sold the town for $1 million. 
Number 1. Donald Trump's Gold-Plated Private Jet Donald Trump is arguably one of the most controversial persons that ever lived and we all know why spending on ridiculous things is his forte. His most ridiculous purchase would have to be the Boeing 757 jet which he got some years back. This is the same jet used by presidential candidates. He bought it from Paul Allen, Microsoft co-founder, for a whooping $100 million. That's not all. The jet was later refitted with the latest technology and almost every surface of the jet has gold covering. Even the faucets are covered with 24 karat gold. That is indeed something. Plastered boldly on the jet is a Trump family emblem. Guess they put it there so you wouldn't mix it up. And that's all we can take on today's video. Let us know your favorites in the comment section.